So you want to know how to not suck on Crossfire. Well, fortunately, there is a video for you, and that is going to be this video. So uh, I'm going to be telling you guys how to not suck on the map Crossfire because, believe it or not, so many people are bad at this map, and um, it's uh, it's pretty insane. So I'm going to be showing you guys um some good spots you should know. This is going to be uh, less of a bomb spots video. I know my last backlot one, I showed a lot of bomb spots. Uh, make sure to check that out if you want to see some cool bomb spots you probably haven't seen before. Um, uh, and I really do mean that you probably haven't seen them, even if you're a really good player. Um, a lot of these spots are very, very unorthodox that I showed on that. However, this is going to be more straightforward. So, on the defense, you want every single round, every round, a player to watch crosses and offense right so that's my first tip watch the crosses on this map i'll show you a defense spot to watch the cross and then i'll show you an offense spot so to watch the crosses here you literally come here and look at this you you sit here there, there's no way you can die unless you're just really bad you can see anyone that crosses to a and you can see anyone that crosses to b they'll be right there and then obviously they'll be right there you can't get killed from, because people like to sit up there, right? You can't even get killed from up there from here. Literally, there's no way you can die. And you can tell how many go there, how many go there. So that's how you watch the cross um, on defense. Now, if you're going to watch the cross on offense, and let me run all the way um, over to here, what you're going to want to do is right off spawn, because you spawn all the way in freaking... All the way back here right so when you spawn you want to run right to this car jump up on it and pre-aim right here that's all you do it's super quick you're never gonna get naded from back here sometimes you know that car that car that car can get naded you won't get naded from here and you can call out exactly how many run to be so that's huge for your team right so you want to make sure that you're you know watching a cross like that as well. So that's what I mean by watching crosses. It gives your team so much information um, as to how to play and things like that. Next thing I want to talk about uh, is my next tip, and that is getting a building control. This building is essentially the middle map or mid building of Crossfire, right? Because uh, there is no building in the middle, it's a long street. But this building opens up so many possibilities to the whole map. So what I like to do if I'm on uh, defense or I'll have a teammate do this, they have an extreme conditioning sub and they run all the way across. Don't worry, you won't get sniped because they're not going to get there in time. And once you get here, you class change to an AR, swap to your pistol, come up pre aiming these stairs to make sure no one's coming. And again, your teammate in this building is going to be able to tell you if anyone went A. So that's how you'll know. But once you're up here, Look how much of the map you have covered. They can't plant B. If you're good, you'll beam them there, beam them there, beam them there. It's easy kills all from here. And you can sound whore if they're running A. You know, if they plant the A bomb, then all of a sudden you're behind them. It's such a good... This building is so, so, so good. If you want to, you can even, you know, stun the bomb. You can throw nades just like that onto the bomb site if you think they're on there. It's just such a good spot, and you want to have control of this building every round you play, and uh, you will win the map. I guarantee that. You'll win the map if you have a good player go up here every time. So the next thing I want to talk about is actually more of a um, more of an offensive thing. So I'm going to come and blow myself up right like that. Uh, and I'll actually have my new class. So this is going to be if you're on offense. And I guess defense as well. But when you want to plant the bomb, you always want to bait for nades on this map. And if you don't know what that means, basically you want the other team to waste their grenades before you plant. So you don't get naded off the bomb, right? So the main way to do this is to use smoke grenades, right? I talked about in my cl create a class video how smoke grenades were useful. Basically, all you need to do after you cross here is take a smoke grenade and smoke out the b-bomb right like that right here's the trick though you don't plant it right you go here you pre-aim this or something you don't plant the bomb and this forces the enemy team to nade the bomb just in case you are planting 
right? So sometimes they'll use, they'll always nade it at least once, right? They'll nade stun, sometimes they double nade it. Uh, it's pretty insane, they waste all their equipment just on that and they don't get anything. And at that point, you know it's safe to plant, right? So then you can go ahead and plant and you'll win the round because it's, it's a free round, right? Um, another way you can bait nades if you don't have any smokes is you come right up to the bomb and you start to plant and then you get off it. Or another thing you can do is switch your weapons a few times and then run away. What this does is it tricks the player in Butcher or Delhi, it tricks them that you're planting, right? Because it sounds like a plant. And what they'll then do is they'll stun this or they'll nade it to try and kill you. So that that's both two ways. That's how you basically waste their grenades on B-bomb. So that's the best way. The best way is smoke it. You know, and if nothing happens, then maybe fake it out. Wait for more nades to come. And you know, after that point, they'll probably have used all their nades. And then you can safely put down the bomb. Uh, and it's a pretty easy procedure from there. So yeah, that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys learned some things about Crossfire. Um, and about how you can actually be better on this map. Obviously, like I said, watching those crosses gives you a ton of intel. Playing for that building control when you the game and then baiting the nades this will prevent you from getting naded off of the bomb uh so yeah that's gonna be it guys i hope you did enjoy if you did drop a like i'll see you guys in another video